Welcome to Take 5 with Automation World. I'm David Greenfield, Director of Content, and in this episode, we'll be looking at how Krispy Kreme is modernizing its production machinery to save costs, improve worker safety, and enable remote monitoring of its equipment. Now, to start, it's important to realize that Krispy Kreme is not just a donut maker. It also manufactures the equipment used in its stores to make the donuts. In fact, the company's headquarters in North Carolina features a manufacturing facility that houses research, design, testing, engineering, and production operations. The machines and processing equipment built there use Siemens drives and controls integrated by Think PLC, the automation engineering consultant to Krispy Kreme. Now, Bobby Cole, who's the president of Think PLC, says the donut making process at Krispy Kreme requires very precise controls to keep the shortening the donuts are fried in within an exact temperature range and then move them through a very specific cooling process. Now recently, Krispy Kreme has been updating its manufacturing operations uh, in an effort to increase machine uptime and mean time before failure. So to enable consistent automation upgrades across Krispy Kreme's more than 600 locations worldwide, Think PLC was tasked with figuring out the fastest and most cost-efficient way to replace the older Siemens MicroMaster drives with Siemens Synamics G120 variable frequency drive technology. This led Think PLC to develop a retrofit kit that would allow every store to quickly add the new components and software to their existing equipment. Now, the key to Think PLC's retrofit idea was to leverage the SD cards used on Krispy Kreme's existing Siemens drives and controls. This approach was viable because Krispy Kreme maintains each store's unique set of machining and processing parameters on the drive's SD cards. This means that the stores only need to hire a local contractor to upgrade the legacy control panels for safety and power wiring. The rest of the upgrade process can be done by someone in the store who doesn't have to have any specific control experience, according to Think PLC. To prove Think PLC's retrofit concept, Krispy Kreme and Think PLC tested the kit's installation and use in Krispy Kreme's North Carolina manufacturing plant followed by tests at various stores in the region. Now, during these tests, the new drives and PLCs installed smoothly and the SD cards automatically updated and matched all the previous stores' parameters as expected. But to further test the concept, Think PLC retrofitted every Krispy Kreme store in Australia, of which there are more than 30, in just five days using these kits. Cole says the new drives have improved the accuracy of the donut frying time by 12%, resulting in a more consistent product with less waste. Another advantage of the new drive is that it can run a motor at a slow rate without the usual rise in motor temperature that can occur when you run a motor at a slow speed over long periods of time. Cole says that when you run a motor at very low hertz, it generates a lot of eddy current, and that can make the motor overheat which greatly decreases the life of the motor. So to protect against such problems, the new drives can be monitored through Siemens TIA portal. In using this technology, Cole says that they've seen the motor amperage reduced by almost 17% and motor temperatures reduced by 34%. The new drives also address worker safety issues through the integration of Siemens safety monitoring circuitry, which includes automated safety mechanisms and e-stop buttons. And one of the benefits of these safety mechanisms is that if a hose were to break on the shortening pump, for example, the flow would stop within 100 milliseconds. And using Siemens TIA portal, Think PLC can access any of the Siemens G120 drives remotely. Cole says all the information you need is on the remote display, including diagnostic screens that help you debug any operating problem. In addition, faults and alarms can be data logged in the cloud so that trends can be studied over the course of a year and faults for a particular machine can be identified and then addressed. So I hope you enjoyed this Take 5 with Automation World episode. 
And please keep watching this space for new episodes to keep you on top of what's happening in the world of industrial automation.